So this is like when you're walking onto a plane. You don't see the train because it's like we're walking in a jetway. And then here we are. Let's go. So we're going to come out right at the end of the tunnel to where we just were at 311 miles an hour, which is the top speed right here. So here's the tunnel exit out over the bridge that we just saw, and we're going to go back into the mountain right now. 311 miles an hour. Look we're at this mountain. acceleration now, 200 miles an hour already. Yes. So we're not only that, and we're, we're accelerating and we're climbing. So it's almost like being in an airplane. We could walk around. You don't feel the acceleration, though. I think you, you to explain to people, you, you hear it, but you don't feel as though you're in a roller coaster ride and you have to hold on. That's right. I mean, at two, no right problem. now at 250 miles an hour. I think that's incredible. So let me just walk up and down, effortless, effortless. We're going 311 miles an hour, so I'm just trying to imagine, as we have a curve right here, you can sort of feel that, but this train track is built for the maximum curves that you would feel. How often, Wayne, do you talk to skeptics about the project? And when you explain what this feels like, do you think that the people understand that? I don't think they really do. I don't think until you come and actually experience it because your only conception is our current technology. We're slowing down at the moment because we're approaching a curve or... Uh, no, what? we're at the end. This is the end? Yes, we're almost at the end, so... I haven't even had a chance to drink my coffee. No, we're just I... shooting the breeze. I didn't even finish our conversation. That's right, that's it.